The queen lived in a beautiful castle. She had a daughter whom she dreamed of. The child had black hair and snow white skin. Therefore, they named her Snow White. The queen soon died. The king did not grieve for a long time. A year later he brought a new queen to the palace. She was beautiful but angry. The woman brought a magic mirror with her. Every day she admired her reflection in him and asked him the same question, who is the most beautiful in the world? The mirror has always told only the truth. Therefore, it honestly praised the beauty of the queen, and the woman beamed with happiness. Snow White grew, and every year her beauty blossomed brighter. And now, once again, speaking to the mirror, the queen heard in response that now she is not the most beautiful in the world, but Snow White. The queen was not going to endure this in her own palace. She ordered her faithful servant to lead the princess into an impenetrable thicket and kill. No, no, no. But the servant could not, even for the sake no. of the queen, kill the sweet girl. Bye -bye. He brought the princess into a dark forest and let her go. And he himself returned to the castle and told the queen that he had followed her order. For a long time, the princess wandered through the forest, along the way she was helped by all kinds of forest inhabitants. Wow. Snow White was very kind to them, and therefore they became strong friends. Cool. In the evening, the princess accidentally stumbled upon a small house. She went into it and saw that there was no one in the house. The table was set for seven people, and there were seven cots in the bedroom. And everything in this house was very small. Therefore, Snow White realized that seven little people live here. After a long and difficult journey, she lay down on one of the beds and fell fast asleep. The seven dwarfs returned home late at night. They were greatly surprised by the appearance of an unexpected guest. Sleeping Snow White was so charming that the dwarves decided to let her sleep and did not wake her. Morning has come. Snow White woke up, saw the seven dwarfs, and was scared. But they were affectionate with her, and the girl told about her misfortune. They immediately liked Snow White, and the dwarfs invited her to stay with them. Moreover, she agreed to take care of the house cooking, washing and cleaning. Every morning the gnomes went to the mountains to mine gold and precious stones and return late at night. Leaving for work, they warned Snow White to be afraid of the evil stepmother and not open the door to strangers. At this time, the queen, as usual, went to the secret room to talk to the magic mirror. But the mirror suddenly said that she was not the most beautiful in the world, but Snow White. That the princess is still alive and lives with the gnomes in the house. The queen became very angry and decided to deal with Snow White herself. She went to a secret room and cooked a poisonous venomous apple there. It was very beautiful on the outside, but if someone ate even a piece, he would certainly die. When the apple was ready, the queen changed into an old merchant and came to the house of the dwarfs. Seeing the sweet old woman, Snow White felt sorry for her. She did not suspect anything and left the house. The old woman treated the girl to a ripe apple and said that if she eats this apple, she will remain young and beautiful okay. forever. Snow White believed her, and as soon as she bit the apple, she fell down dead and stopped breathing. The contented queen went to the palace. In the evening, the dwarves returned from work and saw Snow White lying on the ground. She was not breathing. They sobbed so loudly and lamented that their cry was heard by the handsome prince, who was hunting in the forest nearby. It became interesting to him what kind of howl arose that scared away all the animals. And when the prince found the house of the dwarfs, he saw Snow White. She was so beautiful that the young prince immediately fell in love with her. He persuaded the dwarves to take her with him to the castle, because there he has doctors who can cure Snow White. The dwarfs allowed it. Then the prince ordered his servants to carry the princess on their shoulders. And when they were carrying her, it happened that the servants stumbled over some bush, and from the concussion a piece of a poisonous apple fell out of Snow White's mouth, and she woke up. 
Seeing the young prince, the girl also fell in love with him and agreed to marry him. They also invited their wicked stepmother to the wedding. Out of anger that Snow White is still alive and that now a long and happy life awaits her, the queen broke the magic mirror and never looked at it again. Once upon a time, there was a little girl. Once her rich father married an evil stepmother. She settled in the house with her two daughters. Their faces were beautiful and white, but their hearts were evil and cruel. And then came a difficult time for the poor girl. From morning until late in the evening, they forced her to do dirty work, carry water, heat the stove, cook food, wash dishes, and do laundry. And besides, the half-sisters did their best to upset her as much as possible they mocked her, poured peas and wheat into the ashes, and she had to sit and pick them out. In the evening, when she was tired of work, she had to go to bed not in bed, but on the floor, next to the stove. And because she was always in ash, dust, and dirty, the sisters called her Cinderella. But then it happened one day that the king started a feast, which was supposed to last for three whole days, and called all the beautiful girls of the country to the holiday so that his son could choose a bride for himself. When the two named sisters learned that they, too, could come to the feast, they instantly began to dress up and preen. Cinderella also wanted to go dancing, but her stepmother did not let her go, because she had no dress or shoes, and she was dirty. And then the evil stepmother poured a bowl of wheat into the ashes and said that if Cinderella collected it in two hours, then she could go with her sisters. Cinderella went out into the garden and cried. And then two white doves flew in, followed by a whole flock of different birds. They swooped down on the ash and began to peck, and so they chose all the grains in a bowl. In less than an hour, they finished their work, and everyone flew back. Cinderella brought a bowl to her stepmother, began to rejoice, thinking that she could go to the feast. But her stepmother would not let her in any way. She turned her back on Cinderella and hurried with her two daughters to the ball. When there was no one left at home, Cinderella sat down on the floor and cried with grief. And then two white doves flew in, followed by a whole flock of different birds, and they threw off their dress and shoes shiny and all in gold. She quickly put on this dress and came to the bride. They saw her stepsisters and stepmother and thought that it must be some strange princess she was so beautiful in her golden dress. It never occurred to them that it was Cinderella. The prince came out to meet her, took her hand, and they began to dance. And he liked Cinderella so much that he did not want to dance with any other girl. She danced until the evening and wanted to return home, but the prince asked her to see her off. He wanted to know whose beautiful girl this is and where she lives. But Cinderella ran away from him and climbed onto the dovecot. The prince ordered to destroy the dovecot, but there was no one in it. And nowhere near could he find his beautiful stranger. No one could have guessed that Cinderella was rescued by pigeons that took her home. The prince was upset and went to the palace with his head down. And suddenly he saw a shoe, lifted it up it was so small and elegant and all of pure gold. The prince guessed that when Cinderella ran away from him, the shoe from her left foot remained on one of the steps. The prince was delighted and ordered to find the mistress of this shoe, and to whom it suits he will marry that one. The parents returned from the ball, they saw that Cinderella was asleep in her shirt on ash, and a dim light was on by the stove. Both sisters went to their rooms, hoping that tomorrow they would be lucky enough to put on the golden slipper. The next day, the prince came to their house and said that everyone who wants to try on the shoe of his future wife should come out. Two sisters came out, and the stepmother locked Cinderella in the house and did not let her out. The older sister tried it on a small shoe. 
The younger sister tried it on the shoe is great. The prince was about to leave, but Cinderella climbed out of the window and ran out to him. And she put on a shoe, and it just fit her. The prince looked into her eyes and recognized in her the very beautiful girl with whom he danced. He took Cinderella, put her on a horse and rode off to play a wedding with her. And he ordered the sisters and stepmother to be locked in their house and never let them out of there. This is how they were punished for their malice and deceit.